first cold start after the after the IDM IDS. So anyways, today's the day. We're taking it to the tuner. We're gonna check the tune. We're gonna check and make sure we have no colds. And right now we do not. So going through these, um, you know, iterations, checking the boxes is what we're doing basically. Um, as I mentioned in my earlier video, we have a pretty good, pretty good idea of what's going on, and um, it's going to come out in this video. Uh, the fix um, it was provided to me by my engineering friend Larry, um, and uh, you know he had some pretty good uh, sources what the problem was with this car and why we're getting these ghost codes. Anyways, let's see what we come up with, and uh, you guys will have an answer. Like I said, we'll know what's wrong with this car. And then we can move on. We've driven 20 miles so far. I got no codes, and uh, this may be this may be a cure. I will check when we arrive to Force Engineering. Um, I'm gonna check and make sure there's no codes. Um, if we don't have codes, man, we're golden. The IDS tool may have taken care of this problem. So that's the plan for today. We're gonna have him look at the tune, make sure we're good. If he needs to adjust it because we suspect maybe he needs to because why we changed our O2 sensor. So I want him to look at the fuel trim. Uh, that's what I have for now. Um, we should be arriving there in about 20 minutes or so. So uh, we'll, be, we'll be back at it, guys. Well, it looks as though we have a pending code. This sucks. Generic random misfire, P0300. All right, we're here at Force Engineering. Uh, Tyler is uh, on his laptop. He's uh, checking things out. He's gonna add, in fact, Tyler, it's probably better if you tell us what you're doing because I'm gonna screw things up as always. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of fuel. Some of the short terms are a little positive down here. Um, what you'll see too, if you can look at that, you see these waves here? These are oscillations in the fuel trims. And that's because of the um, the header moves the O2 sensor too far away, so the delay from the ECU making a change to when the O2 sensor seeing the change is not correct in the ECU. So I'm gonna add a little time to that and then add a little fuel to it and go from there. So I'm just gonna add some time to the idle area. With any RPM in it, it cleans right up. Just a little to the mass air sensor. I did that like a part throttle sweep down here. You can see it's positive 11, 12% pretty much all over the place. So I'm gonna add a little fuel up to probably like 300 hertz um, and then Hello. just add the time to it oh, here. Uh, hey is that the boss yeah, yeah. i put it by the door if you want me to that's fine yeah okay. it's two bosses oh hello <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah that's it okay. i don't see anything really that wrong with it at all actually i'm just cleaning up some stuff just because we're here right right basically cool yeah you'll see too if you if well i can't do it now but the the misfire code is actually a permanent code which some of those have different like reset functions like the engine has to like go through a complete heat cycle so many times before 40 the code times will clear. is it 40, it's 40 times? times wow yeah. 40 times to, to clear yeah that. that's annoying <laughs> so i just want to make sure i'm not hurting the engine no 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 definitely not you know what i mean yeah no it's good this thing's got so much control you, You'd have to really try in order to hurt it. What we're going to do, we are actually going to weigh these pieces. We're going to weigh the fly, cloud lightning flywheel. Uh, this was in one of my earlier videos. This is a really, really nice piece. Um, this is part number 563408. Take a good look at this again. This is really, really a nice looking piece. So when it's in pounds and ounces, so that's two ounces, which is, so we'll just take two ounces off the total. Let's zoom in here. So we got 12 pounds, two ounces. We have the stock flywheel on the scale. Now we did calibrate the scale to a five pound bag of flour in a previous video and it was right on the money. So anyways, here we go. 22 pounds, two ounces. And if I have to change that, which sounds like I do if I want to eliminate those misfires, 
The codes, yeah. Did you talk about that on the video at all? Um, I did, and uh, I'll talk about that again too. And if, if, in fact, if you wanna, That's if you I don't gonna, mind, I was gonna do because I might be able to explain that a little yep, bit better. Yep. Um, so the Ford text told us that the flywheel was the problem because now it has an aluminum flywheel in it, which is like, do you know how much lighter it was specifically? About ten pounds. About ten I pounds, so significantly lighter. Um, and why we're thinking it's throwing a misfire code is it looks for misfires based on the time between pulses on the trigger wheel. And if we've removed weight from that, those pulse durations are having a larger effect on the speed of the trigger wheel oscillations during compression cycles or power cycles at idle. And we think that, that's, that that speed interval, that difference there, is different than what the EC was programmed to see, and that's why we're having a misfire code. If that makes a little bit more sense. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Tyler's going to clean things up for us, and then uh, there you have it, guys. I think that's really what the ultimate issue is going on with this car. So longer term, I may look at switching that back. Um, switching back to the stock flywheel just to eliminate those codes. But um, in the short term, again, like uh, he's going to clean a few things up, and we should be good to go. So Tyler, as I mentioned before, he's got the... Uh, stock engine record check him out on youtube he's got an awesome channel and then uh, check out his facebook page all right guys so Tyler took care of it so great guy uh check him out again force engineering check out his youtube channel and uh his facebook page so we should be good to go guys the fix is to go back to a stock flywheel and uh maybe down the road we'll do that but as long as it's not hurting anything um we're gonna just kind of ignore that and uh, you know the car is fine he checked it all out the car is fine so uh, that's good news uh, we can proceed with things so. and just remember too guys um, you're making those changes going to a light and flywheel uh, becomes an issue so make sure uh, you know you don't do that you guys learn from my mistakes that's why we're uh, having this channel too so it's about sharing information so the next steps we're gonna look at uh, getting a line lock on this thing get our tires heated before we can even uh, get them to hook up because I, I can't I can't heat the tires so I think that's it for today guys man um, I appreciate you guys watching hope you like the content uh, things are things are gonna get in the right direction now for us so uh, thanks for my new subs guys like and subscribe have a great day thanks and take care